When you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we are looking at treasury bonds here, long-term daily, double ABCD, triple ABCD, setting at 618. And Larry Williams is expecting a low today. Now, if anything goes wrong with this trade, boys and girls, don't go blaming me. You blame Larry Williams. His phone number is 664-555-0078. So he's down in the Caribbean somewhere, but that's his private number. And please don't give it to everyone. But anyway, it, it, this is a pattern, folks. I don't know about the cycles. I really don't. Uh, we did have a very good day trading on Friday. We had uh, those of you that were uh, in the uh, room. I wanted to uh, show you because we, we just had another one of those same patterns that we looked at. Hold on. We'll just get up here so you'll be able to see it right here. This is where we were. This was today's action so far. And let me get rid of it. Let's just move over to a three-minute because it's same same type of stuff. There's a three-minute right here. And uh, we always say to sell the 382, okay, and the 382 was right there at 84. We just made the profit objective down there at uh, 63. So it just went spot on right there. There was your 382. Could go a little bit lower, but right now, uh, we're at really critical time here, folks, because we're making new lows now in the Russell. And uh, I want to bring that up to you uh, right now here. So I want to make sure I don't uh, – I, I have a couple positions on here that I don't want them to get away from me. So bear with me here because I'm on the show here, and I usually uh, – you know what I ought to do. I probably ought to just cover them while I'm on the show here and uh, not worry about it. So just give me one second here, and I'll take care of it. And uh, – yeah, see, we made a pretty good, pretty good run on this as well. Over 20 points on this, the Dow Jones one was even far better because it was from way back here. There was a 382 on that one that had quite a few points in it. So that is what I'm going to do right now. So give me uh, a, uh, one second here, and I'll take care of this uh, right now, and I don't have to worry about it. Okay, and the next one is, hold on one second. I have the two trades that are coming up here that look real interesting here, folks. So let's uh, get that one here. All right, so there's where we go right there. And, okay, there's where we are. There was my net in the in the S&P, and this was my net in the, uh, what you call it, the, uh, uh NASDAQ, excuse me, the Dow Jones, and then I had a really good one today. I'll show you that one. This was the one in the gold because this is what we talked about, folks. Let me get the gold up here uh, right now, and I'll just want to show you because this is where we were. If you remember, we'll get this, uh, get that hourly chart up here, and you'll see here this is where we were. Get this up here in the show here on Friday, okay? we I actually sold it here, remember, and uh, – it I got stopped out. I sold it at twenty four thirty five. I lost uh, I think I lost six dollars in it, but I made it back, and I'll show you how I made it back. Well, there was two ways. Let me get, get it get it up here right here with the thirteen minute right here. I made it on the first way back, which was right there. That's where it was right there at Sunday night. I got that big move down. I sold the I sold that right there at the three eight two. There it was at, at eighty one. It had a high of 83. It came down, made the price objective right here. You can see the ABCD to the downside. We're going to be doing another one of these on the 26th of uh, – I can't make any promises that we're going to be you know, doing that kind of uh, – a profit, but you know it's pretty good. What was really sad, folks, I'm getting off the beaten path because I'm looking at four things at once. This is the one that I missed. I mean, this was oh, – how I could have missed this one. Um, let me get that. Uh, I think it was a four-hour chart. Yeah, it was. I'm pretty sure. 
come on for our chart. Oh, don't tell me I'm losing data. Oh, no, it was an hourly chart. So let me get it right here. This is what I'm doing right now. Here was the, uh, oh, they switched over. This is, this is not October cattle, folks. This is June. Look at this beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern that we had. Just absolutely, this was right in the midst of the show. Okay, and this was it towards the end of the show. It made the day, and then it rallied. You can see here, it just in the last hour it rallied. Then we had the big gap up. Now here's what I'm doing. Now we had this big move. It's rallied five points. That's a big move in cattle. That's bigger than this one. So if you believe in that 382 pattern that we like, this is what I'm doing. Well, I've had a pretty good day, so I'm not going to worry about the stop or anything like that. But I'm going to try to buy it here at 173.60. That's 60 points from where it is right now, and I'm going to put my stop right below here. Because I don't want to risk more than $300. That's the main thing. Now, I had one trade today that was no good. Let me get that trade up because that was that Japanese yen trade. That was my what I thought was the best trade of the day. And it was for somebody that was uh, uh, the other way than I was. But I only lost uh, 35 points, which was $200, $6 a point. And here it is right here. I really thought that the 1.618 was going to stop it. And boy, stop it, it did not. You can see here, we sold it there at 135.55. The stop was at 95. And uh, oh, here it is already at 154.24. Where is it going from here? No clue. And really strong, you know, support in here, breaking out to the upside. If this doesn't hold it, folks, you got to get out of Dodge. And that's what we did. Now, we had a Euro trade that actually did pretty good. And I think we pointed that out to you um, also. But, oh, here's the other thing that I'm looking at here in the gold. Because I got two other orders setting in here. All right, here's the gold. We we had the high up here. Okay, there was the move down. Let me get rid of this, okay, because I have to show you what's happening. From my perspective, of course, that doesn't count. There was the 382 right there, okay? Right there. The number, we sold it at 89. That, that was that number you saw before. It dropped here. That made my profit objective. Okay. And then we went down a little bit lower. But look what's happening now. This is important when you're doing the, the 382 program. You go from the new high or the old high right back here down to the new low. Okay. And what does that do? That takes you right here to 2381. And so at 2381, guess what? I have to nibble at it again because if I'm willing to sell it at the first 3A2, I have to sell it at the second 3A2. So that's why I've got the order in here, my stop, because it should take this out. The old high was right there. So all I got to do is put my stop right here, just a little above that, $4. And if I already made I made 20 well, whatever it was, I'm only going to risk 500 bucks. So I'm going to sell it at 2381, put a stop. 2386 that's what i'm doing okay all right let's move on to the next one right here and see what we got here we've got to take a look at this nasdaq because this is really trying you see it's it keeps dropping here we finally broken below the three uh, the 135 pattern today's rally went right up to this point what i need to refer to you is back to the e-mini s p when we get back very important so stay tuned with us here and we'll be right back 877-927-6648 Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Educating investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm not going to get too involved with these numbers because you've seen them before. But we are getting ready to take this low out. This was the one we made on Friday. Then we rallied. You can see the rally that we had here uh, from Friday. Uh, and then today, uh, this is where we closed everything. The world was going to come to an end. And I didn't believe that because it looked like you know we were ready to rally. And by golly, we did. All we did on the rally is you go back to see the last time we had a four-day rally was right here. We had a, well, excuse me, had a three-day rally here and a four-day rally right here. So what you should do is when you look at that, see the context of the, uh, ah, good, there's the Dow making new lows. Okay, and we're making new lows here too. So, okay, here's where we are. You take the last high right here. You go down to the next one. You see that was the exact 382 today off of this high right here. That tells us that we're still heading down. You can see here that we are moving, uh, you know, quite a bit lower here uh, as we speak. I just, uh, well, I just added a couple more here. Hopefully it's going to keep working. Uh, oh, the Dow Jones is really breaking bad here. Let me get you up here one second here, and we'll get this up here. Hold on a second, because we've got some big patterns here in the Dow Jones. You see this is what the uh, forecast is. We should be coming into a low here towards the end of the day. But let's look at this on the daily because this is the one that gives us the patterns that we're waiting to see. This is the long term, okay? Now you can see here, we are breaking uh, down here below the lows that we made here uh, on Friday, see 31. We're at the same price. Uh, no, we're at basically the same price where we are right now. I gotta turn this off so that it'll stop beeping. And I wanna move it on to a uh, hourly chart so we can see the uh, relationship of where we are. So we have not taken out those lows as of yet here on the uh, Dow Jones. But there's one other one that has made a major ABCD pattern here, and that is our number two of the stock index futures, which is the RTY, the Russell 2000, and that'll be coming up right now. And I'll put the daily up on that. That came in, we're below it by quite a bit. But there it is right there. There is the uh, ABCD came in at 205. We're already 10 points uh, below that level. If we go back to look at the last major low we had, which was back here on the 16th of January, let's see what the retracement will be 
on this one uh, right here. And as you pull it up, you'll see already through the 61% retracement. So there doesn't seem to be any support coming in here right now. So I'd be really careful. Another one that I have working right now, boys and girls, if I believe these patterns, this is the cattle. All right. So my order is setting right here. Now we're setting close to where I could get filled. And that's it. Uh, I'm having order at 4360. And my stop is right below here, okay, at 4280. I'm risking $380. This is the one that hurts, folks, because uh, look at it gapped up today. If you just bought it on the opening, you know, it had uh, $1,400 in it. Now it's starting to back off. And if this is correct, and this is a pretty good bottom, this tells us that it is, this should be good support right here at 4360. That's why my why my order is uh, setting there. So let's uh, move on here for just a little bit here, and we'll get that out of the way. And we're still coming down here. And we're almost ready to take this out. So let's see what happens if we start taking Fridays out. It'll start making it a little bit different here of what we're looking. i got to get rid of the apple here because – I'm not talking about it anymore, and I don't want to talk about the NASDAQ. It's Oh, the NASDAQ just broke, folks. Hey, you like ABCD? You're going to see one. Here's where we are today, boys and girls. Pay attention to this one. So if you think they're going to be uh, going a lot lower, we're going to be coming in here. 79.50, that is only 60 handles from where we are right now. Put that on your uh, waving list right here, and you'll be able to see uh, see where we are here. I made a made a serious mistake covering those uh, Dow Jones and the S and P, but I made really good money, so I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. So, oh wow, look at this S and P at 38. Oh my God, that's 20 handles from where I got out. Oh dear. Anyway, move on to the next one. Anyway, you can see here we're starting to break down pretty good here, and uh, this is, you know, it might get all the way down to here, which is no problem, because if you look at this right now, okay, going to have to stop doing these radio shows. <laughs> no, I like this stuff, so it's not a problem. Yeah, we might get, well, that's only 30 handles from where we are right now, 5103. So, and let's look at this on the daily, see where we are at 5103. I think we got, ooh, 5103 is a 38, or 50, there's a 382 right there. Wow, this is going to be really interesting, folks. we got to hold this, or it's going to be uh, some pretty serious uh, ramifications, uh, you know, I would think. So let's, uh, let's watch that. Okay. <laughs> All right, here, let's move on here to the next one here. Is the uh, one that we missed here. Let's, I, oh, we're almost filled. Hold on just a second. We're almost here in the old gold. This is uh, I this is the uh, well we're gonna see. This is my order setting right here twenty three eighty one, and my stop is at twenty three eighty six. I like the way that it's going up. It's not going crazy to the upside. It's trading nicely, only four or five dollars away now, which is pretty good. So we should look at the silver market at the same time and see how silver is rallying because it's been a little bit weaker than we've been seeing here. So here's silver. I'll tell you one thing, folks. Next, when we do this thing on, ah, there we go. I I did this one this morning, folks. When I did the gold, there was a silver. It didn't back off very much. You see, it got to this point. I had my stop at break even. I didn't do anything with it after that. I should have checked to see what the pullback was here. It looks like it's pretty much spot on, 61%, right on the money. Now, this is it by a couple cents. So I don't see a whole lot to do here. The gold is much clearer. You see on this one here, see this is where the big number was. We can see it here on Friday. You know, when it was making this pattern right here, there was a little ABCD. We'll just get it out of the way so you can see it clearly. I, and I, I know you guys get tired of ABCD, but you know what? I don't. I'm not tired of it. So that's what's important. There's your little ABCD. Now, that you might think that's not very much, folks, but that's $3,000. And there was the target of the AB leg from – Way back here, right there, 29.82, high was uh, 29.90. So it's had a pretty good run here. And it looks like we're coming back to a, uh, yeah, we might we might make, see, we're already, we're already above the 50. We're trading right at the 50% now. But I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm looking at the, uh, 
the gold. That's the gold is the one that I'm uh, that I'm paying attention to, and it's getting really close. So I don't have to worry about that. When I get filled, it'll tell me. So we're going to take a break here, I believe. Let's see what the old clock on the wall says. 48 seconds left. That's it. One of the problems that I did in the um, show for the trading show was I tried to do a little teaching. And, you know, I'm there. I should have been. Well, we did make really good money, folks. There's no compl no complaining about that. Made a couple of trading errors. But, hell, I just made one in the S&P and the Dow Jones. So I'm certainly far from flawless. So... Let's take a look here and see what's going on. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Oh, 
okay, folks. I'm not gonna get get done with this. I got some shit, stuff to share with you. We did get short the uh, the thing at 81. Okay, uh, we just made. I didn't buy anything here. There's your went below the number. That's mainly because of the steepness of this. Should get down to this 1.618, which is not very far away. Remember, the S and P should get to 43.10. Uh, Hold on a second. Oh my gosh, we're at 43.10 already. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Boy, oh boy, that one was. Wow, that was a quick uh, couple of bucks there, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, I'm not complaining, folks. Well, maybe a little bit. Or we got filled in the cattle, all right? Let's just move these. I'm jumping around a little bit too much. I want to get rid of this Russell. Don't need to look at that. Um, okay, the bonds are working. Uh, we bought a little bit of those today. There's our, there's our, our theory is, and I believe in this quite a bit, you have a real strong trending market, you buy the first 3A2, you like to see an ABCD in here, but the good part is I bought it at 173.60, okay, my stop is right below here, I'm only risking 40 points, that's $250, okay, so that's what I'm just like in the gold, put my stop in, pray for the best, that's uh, really basically uh, how I try to operate, okay. All right, let's move on here to the next one. I want to get rid of this. Keep this NASDAQ in here. Wow, we're, look where we came down here in the old Dow Jones. My goodness. Wow, I covered that. <laughs> I sold it here. I covered it there. That's 400 points, and I, I left uh, – Oh, dear. I left another 200 points on it. So we've, we're at real support here in the Dow Jones here. Uh, let's just pull this up again. Uh, no, it's a little bit lower right in here, uh, this level right here. Oh, wow, that's down another 400 points. Let's blow this up a little bit and see where we are. Well, it could be. I don't know. Maybe this is the big uh, the big break. I will say this. I said if we went below 150, 115, that that's, uh, that was going to be pretty, uh, pretty significant. So let's uh, remind ourselves that that's what's happening to some of these things. So we'll do one thing at a time as we as we usually do. Okay, let me get this up here and put everything in perspective so that I can uh, see all the stuff that I'm looking at. See, I have too many things listed in here now that I'm usually looking at. See, we're almost at the 382 on the whole move on this. We're only 15. Uh, let me, we're, we're only how many handles are we? A 15. That's 10. We're 20 handles away from the 382. Well, we go below that, folks. We're talking serious. Uh, Serious problems, okay? So let's watch that. Uh, this is a crude oil. We're not going to worry about that. We're certainly not going to worry. We had a nice uh, move in soybeans today. We had a stop. Is it break even? As a matter of fact, it's right. We bought them right here. Uh, I haven't seen a notice I gotten stopped out because our stop was, I guess, a half a tick below that because I didn't notice that. But it just rallied, you know, six, seven cents. It was not a not a big deal here. Okay, now let's move around and get rid of this right here. We don't want to do that. I want to get, see, I usually stick with just eight tile vertical. I stick with just eight um, charts that I'm watching, okay? So these are the ones that I watch. Let's get down and watch this on a little bit smaller time frame so we can see if there's any uh, type of action, you know. So we're, we're watching here. Okay, this is, a, this is the... NASDAQ, you know, see, we're, we're the NASDAQ number, get this out of the way, you'll be able to see it, was at 17.1951. It got as low as uh, 17.9. So it's already rallied 40 points, for heaven's sakes. That's a, that's a pretty substantial rally. So that's pretty much what we're paying attention to right now, and we'll see what's happening. Okay, um, what else? Did some, oh, someone had some questions. Got to bring up some of these charts here. This was one from the uh, Elliott Way folks. I wanted to uh, bring this up. This shows you lumber, you know, and you know, I, I look. You can see the giant A, B, C, D in lumber, folks. That's perfect A, B, C, D. It goes from uh, 1700 down to 500, up to 1400, and back to 350. And look what it's done. I mean, it has done very little. So it's telling you that there's a bear market in lumber. Well, it's still way above any other prices, but who knows? Here's the one that, to me, is really surprising, okay? They say falling prices for new homes. Folks, I don't know where that is in the world, but it isn't in Arizona. And I know we have a lot of building because of the chips coming in, but I don't have chips here in uh, 
well, we have buffalo chips here in Tucson, but we don't have computer chips here in Tucson, and our prices are right near the highs. You can't even find a house to buy there. Uh, most of them, they're just very few for sale. So I don't really know where Elliott Wave gets this stuff, but someone asked me to bring it to your attention, so I certainly wanted to. Also, Jim Bartoleone is going to be on next week. Hold on one second. I forgot. I think he's coming in on Tuesday or Wednesday right after Peter Elides. Let's get this up here so we can see it a little better. This shows the stock market, Dow Jones, since way back here. Here was the 29 crash here, folks. You see how that was in perspective? We haven't had anything like that. This was COVID. I mean, we're maybe we'll have some someday, but I don't know. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here uh, today as we look at this uh, these markets here unfold okay and the next one that i needed to show you was from our good friend i wanted to show you, this was really interesting this is the dow jones versus in other words the dow jones average related to gold this is the dow jones priced in gold look at that that is really i don't know what it means but uh, maybe it's i don't know uh, i thought it was an interesting chart I trade the charts. That's all I do. I don't know very much. I know enough to get myself in trouble. That's uh, Sometimes I stay out of trouble. Sometimes I don't. Let's move over here and see where we are with some of these other things that we're doing here. And, um, well, so far, we're, well, we're still still hanging in there in the gold. Uh, that's okay. Uh, nothing going here. I got out of this a little too early. I got out of this right there. Boy, that wasn't very smart, was it? How many handles did I give up there? Whoa. And I gave up uh, 200. Eh, you got to forget that. That's uh, that's neither here nor there. Oh, look at this, though, boys and girls. You talk about serious money. Holy cow. Look at this. I bought it at 60. I've already made $100 in cattle. Are you kidding me? You can't make this stuff up. All right. Let's move on here. My stop is still the same. I was sort of joking. You shouldn't joke about your positions ever, 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 ever. Most probably now, you see, I'm above my number here. In the uh, we're, yeah, I just got stopped out, folks. I just took a, uh, I sold at 81. I got stopped out at 85. I took a four dollar loss in that, and happy to do it because that's uh, once above the number. I don't want to have anything to do with it. So that's neither uh, neither here nor there. So I'm out of that one. And uh, what else? Uh, that's about it. I don't uh, got to figure out a few other things. We got to take a break here. So I'm jumping around a little bit too much looking at a whole lot of stuff and uh anyway let's pay attention to this bond folks because um it's got this giant gartley here larry williams likes it you know maybe he's going to be right who knows put a stop in for god's sake below 113.25 so that's what we're paying attention to Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jim from Florida on the line from Palm Harbor. How are you, Jim? I'm doing really well, Larry. Um, trading mistakes, I put a GTC to sell S&P late friday like 10 to 4 didn't get filled in a fib number of, of it was 74. um so it was gtc and it's, i'm out to dinner with friends and all of a sudden my little beeper goes off on a phone i know i gotta fill so i did sell short at 74 and i went to sleep and it was like 84 i figured i better put a stop i um uh, i sold i covered it at 51.94 but then when we turned around i sold short at 78 so i'm up 50 points and i'm just Got my stop in with a 50 point, uh, keep locked that 50 point gain in. Well, I, I was going to ask I'd, you. I'd how, use about you know, a 20 point trailing stop on that just because we're, we're, okay. we're, we could be at some major ABCDs, but frankly, it doesn't look like there's any hope. But this is the way the market turns when there's no hope. We just completed uh, ABCDs and Dow Jones, the SP, NASDAQ, and Gart, uh, Russell. So, you know, maybe it's going to go down forever. This is only Tuesday, and we got four more days to go. And, you know, it has nothing to do with what's going on over in the Middle East because that looks like it. Well, I don't know what the news is, so I don't really know. But th did you have a question about the bonds? Is that yep. is that what well, you had? Well, the question I had was I caught I, – and I got, got a long-distance phone call that I – so I couldn't complete uh, – that where Larry was talking about a bottom uh, mm -hmm. on the bonds. And I'm looking, and I think it was a six – it was right on the money, this 618. Let me yeah. pull the chart up while you're doing it also. Yep, I've got it here right now. Well, the 618 comes at 114.08. The ABCDs measured to uh, 24. It got to 26. So that's pretty close. But that chart that uh, Larry did, you know, he does a lot of cycle work. And, uh, you know, like he says, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But that's another reason why it could be a pretty good bottom in here. We've been coming down since uh, the day after Christmas. So we've been down for four months. And that's got multiple ABCD patterns right where we're at, 114. We've been bearish for a very long time. And uh, so this is where we said you got to, you know, belly up to the bar sometimes. And this is what you're going to do. So we, we bought some today at that 114 level. And uh, we're going to risk a full point on it, maybe less if we can. You my question it up. Stop is, speaking of uh, trading mistakes and good trading decisions, I'm glad you cut the sh show short on Friday because. Uh, <laughs> Um, you probably ought to plan not plan, even plan more than 15 minutes after that if you do that again because that's really put too much stress on the old. Company. It was. It, well, we had a heck of a day trading. It was. I think it was our best day of the six that we'd done previously because we we did really well. We had those perfect 382 retracements, four of them, in the S and P, absolutely perfect. And each one of them had, you know, 15 to 20 points in it, which was nice. And so, and we had a nice one today up there at. Uh, at uh, 50, uh, you yeah, know, was it? Yeah, 52, uh, 52, 5208, and the high was 5212. 
and the Dow Jones was the weaker. When you have all, when you have, do you try to limit yourself to four to six uh, charts? Because uh, I know I yeah, can't handle. Yeah, I try to do. When I'm doing this show, I've got to fill it up with something, and people ask questions. But when I'm trading, well, I'll just show you here. I'll just do the uh, try. Right now, I'm watching eight different things here that are that are going on. Okay, that's I'm watching the bonds, cattle, Dow Jones, gold, crude oil, uh, Nasdaq, only because ooh. Whoa, whoa, boys and girls, pay attention here. I think we hit a 1.618. Oh, there's your B, B, this is where you want to watch it here, folks. We we went down below that once. Yeah, the low so far, I'm going to put this beeper on. We start going below here, we're going to be, there might be some problems coming in from the Middle East, I guess. I don't know. We'll have to wait. Larry, your, chart, anyway, your chart is still showing the bonds. Uh, it is. Well, I yeah. shouldn't be doing that. Uh, wow, I've done something wrong then, Jim. I'm sorry I can't do that because I thought I was able to uh, manipulate these charts, but evidently I'm not. But I, I watched six or eight things to look for you know, good trades. I looked for two or three good trades today. My best trade today was the Japanese yen. I lost 200 bucks on that, but all the others were you know, doing pretty good. So that's really what all you well, can do. You, you were telling me, you were just mentioned, but I couldn't see the chart. You put out a figure. Was that on the E-mini you were looking at? We're, we're, we're going back down to test the bottom? No, uh, no, that was the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ, at, okay. what's the NASDAQ at 179? It went to 178.86, which is a 1.618 expansion. And boy, I love those numbers. We start getting below there, there's trouble in River City. So you got to okay, remind, remind yourself. I, I see that the, the uh, e mini's giving it back up. It made that run, and now we're back down another eight points. Uh, and, yep, and we're trend, back down. People that look at the trend, the trend is in a buy mode, and um, we're, <laughs> yeah, well, just, we're just slipping and sliding. Well, we get below that one. If we get below 50.90 today, that's going to get pretty nasty, I, I would think. So we'll have to uh, you know, see what's going on. So I probably just made the VIX, is, yeah. the VIX is up nine percent today, so it's up to eighteen point nine two. So there's yeah some serious stuff going up. Amen Thanks for to time. that. Um, hey, it's my pleasure, my friend. And keep charging. Yeah, keep that uh, room at the on that yacht for me because I might come down and we'll go tuna fishing one of these days. And if you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> have a, okay, have a Jim, great hey, day. Yeah, thanks for calling. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Okay, let's move on here, folks. I let me let me correct my charts here because what I understand, and let me just check with the folks at TFNN. Uh, what are we able to see here? I'm going to to re uh, stop my uh, streaming and then re re uh, evaluate the charts here, so that we can see what I'm doing here, and that'll help a little bit. And now we see we just talked about the bonds, so we're doing that. Here's the. This is a really important number that we're looking at here, folks. This is the, you can see, ooh, you know, there's two different numbers. You see this swing right here, that 1.618 comes in right there, and there's another swing on the NASDAQ that's going to come probably really close to it. We're already through that. Folks, if we start getting below, we're almost there. I mean, 117.96. The number that we'll look at, folks, is the S&P, below 50.90 is major problems and uh oh i got a also the uh the cattle just backed off a little bit now i've got a uh 40, got an 80 dollar loss so i have to be careful there all right there's where we are right there <laughs> oh larry man oh lie. did i make a terrible mistake when i got on this show um <clears throat> anyway here's what i did wrong folks okay i i've been short this from way up here i sold another one up in here so okay so i had a Really good day, but here's we're having this little tiny nothing bounce, seven or eight points. Okay, so I put, I just exited right here at 58, just because I wanted to book profits. Terrible decision, absolutely terrible. Just by looking at this, you can see that your profit objective is going to be down to at least this level. Then you have this little move right here. If that's an exact 382 off of that last high, I'm probably going to jump out the window. But fortunately, I live on the first floor. Oh, my God. Look what I just did, folks. I should turn in my trading pencil. I can't, Oh, wow. Shut the front door. All right. That's okay. Here near there. All right. And not only that, look at this. Now, I have my stop too close in the gold, and it's back in a profit. So let's uh, pay attention here. We'll be right back. 877 927 
6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I have to shake that shake that thing off with the S&P. Hey, that's, that's trading. You know, what I want to do, this is the bonds. Let's take a look at the big daddy rabbit, which is the notes, okay? We'll come up here and we'll get a, get a quick view of those here real shortly. QRST here are the notes. I haven't looked at these in a long time. I'm going to look at the daily, see if we see the same pattern unfolding. Okay, there's the notes on the daily. I'm going to move this over. Look, you can see the giant ABCD. It's coming a little bit lower here. You can see there was a 382 right here. We had a nice rally. Then we're coming down, and we're coming down pretty good. We made our high right like the day after Christmas, and now we're moving to where we are right now. So we're going to do this together. Okay, there's what we're watching. Okay, first thing we want to do is see what the retracement level is. Now, remember, we've hit the 61% retracement in the bonds, but we have went below it you see, in the uh, notes. And remember, the notes are about six times the volume. Okay, so that tells us that maybe these bonds are not going to be good. I, I don't know. What we're going to try to do now is to figure out where the ABCD patterns. So you've got your first one right here. There's your AB pattern right here. Your CD pattern comes in 
right here. Now, remember, this is a daily, so we've taken out the lows of just the last few days. We're sitting right there at that number right now. See, 10729. It's at 10727. The low uh, today has been 10718. Okay, now as we look at this a little, little more clearly, you can see we have another uh, ABCD pattern right here. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right here. We know that when you have this big of a move down, this is going to extend by 1.27. So what we do is we mark that, come over, put this over like this, put the 27 in to make it 1.27 on that swing, and it takes us to the low today. Getting ready, boys and girls. We're going to take a break here. We'll be right back tomorrow. My goodness, the show's over already. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.